Hello, I'm Anne Wawadu. Here's your channel's TV Evening News recap for June the 26th, 2019. The presidential election petition tribunal has adjourned the pre-hearing session in the petition filed by the PDP and its candidates, Mr. Tiku Abubaka, on July the 1st, 2019. Chairman of the panel, Justice Mohammed Garba, adjourned following a request by petitioner's lawyer, Mr. Chris Uche, for the time to reply on a point of law to APC's objection to their application. Mr. Atiku and the PDP had filed a fresh motion asking the tribunal to halt the delivery of its ruling in a motion and notice filed by the APC. A federal high court sitting in Lagos has adjourned hearing in a suit filed by MTN Nigeria Communications Limited against the Attorney General of the Federation over $242 billion and $103 billion import duties and withholding tax assessment. MTN is challenging the legality of the AGF's assessment of its import duties, withholding tax and value-added tax in the sums of $242 billion Naira and $1.3 billion. But the suit could not proceed today due to the absence of a witness for the AGF. Yeah. To security matters, five persons have been reported killed and several houses burnt at fresh crisis between the Tiv and Jukun tribes in Toramusa village in Wukari local government area of Taraba state. Confirming the development of Channel's television, the chairman of the local government area, Daniel Adi, said about 100 houses were also burnt in that attack. On the international scene now, Tora leadership rivals Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt are at loggerheads over how the United Kingdom should leave the European Union. Mr Johnson says the UK must leave on October 31st, deal or no deal, a deadline which Mr Hunt has called fake, one which he says could trigger the general election if Parliament rejects the no deal Brexit. Anning Sports Super Eagles today became the first team to qualify for the round of 16 in the ongoing 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. The Super Eagles beat the Seal National of Guinea 1-0 thanks to the 73rd minute header by defender Kenneth Amiru to advance to the knockout stage. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for the fresh updates. I'm Anne Wawadu. Thank you for watching.